Welcome to Caliwood Specialty. I love that intro. So, let's kick off this build by starting off with the seat portion of this bench. I like to lay out all my boards and find out what is the best face of the boards. Now, I'll be using some biscuits to help me with the glue up and of course the alignment. I'll be using some number 20 biscuits and frankly the biscuits don't add much strength to the joint uh, it's just mainly to uh, help with the alignment during the glue up that's all I like to wipe off the excess glue before I attach the additional clamps. That way it's just easier to remove all the glue before it dries. Up next, I'm gonna be cutting down the two by sixes for the seat portion frame. And it's nice to have sharp edges for alignment purposes. So I'm knocking off all the rounded over edges. And here I'm cutting down all the frame pieces down to their final dimension. All these short pieces are my cross sections for the frame that will be attached using pocket holes. Now I'm going to dry fit all my pieces to make sure they align nicely. You'll notice that throughout all my builds, I like to keep everything nice and square and I check every step of the way like I'm doing here to make sure that it is square. I might have gone a little bit overboard with the pocket holes, but hey, this will not come apart. The beauty of this joinery is that you can't see any of the pocket holes. I'll also be making the legs, which will have a tapered edge to them, as you'll see shortly. I went very slowly on this process because my hands were very close to the blade and there is simply no need to go fast in this step. The backrest will also have a slight angle for comfort.
I'm notching out this section here where these back legs will sit flush up against the rear of the bench frame. Now the seat legs and the backrest are made from one piece of 2x6 I believe. And here it is just being dry fitted and it was a perfect fit for all four legs and seat backrests. Now here I'm just cutting down a piece that will serve as the backrest. And of course I have to get rid of all the sharp edges, especially around the legs and under the seat frame. Time to attach the legs and glue them up. But first, I was wondering why my dogs were gaining weight. Well, sure. let's count how many times my daughter feeds the dogs treats. Yep, that's seven times. This will be the seat back frame or outline if you will. The following is pretty much self-explanatory, so I'll let you enjoy the sights and sounds. Kelly, what's specialty? Thanks for watching, everybody.